Hi, I'm Mike Kunz. The following is an interview with the president of Krokosia, Peter Sticken. Shot March 16, 2024 p.m. Now, we all know it's really dangerous right now to travel to Krokosia in this moment, uh, but we knew it was necessary. Uh, we needed answers to this catastrophe. The interview, as you will see, if you watch it, is primary about the conflict in progress. The Krokosia's ban on cardboard specifically. How it started, what's happening, and most pressingly, how it might end. At the very beginning of the interview, we asked the most important question, which is why did you do this? Peter Sticken believes that Krakosia has a historic claim to cardboard boxes. With that in mind, please enjoy the interview now. We were led to the president's emergency secret bunker with bags over our heads. We had to wait for him and his team for around two hours. We understand the situation is very serious and he is a very busy man, but we were very thankful for the opportunity to interview him. Yeah, 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 I got the poison, yeah. No, I'm not gonna chicken out. Everyone in the room is in on it, right? Okay, are you sure it's gonna help my career? Yeah, I hate being a car salesman, uh-huh. All right, all right, I'll keep you updated. All right, um, uh, Mr. Uh, President, uh, nice to meet you, thank you so much. Your bunker is uh, so uh, very welcoming and, and, and cozy. <laughs> Welcome to Krakosia. In my country, we have a little tradition of hospitality. Wow, is that a real Krakosian cardboard box? Vodka is special here in Krakosia. You must drink it now, before we begin. Are you going to drink all that? Are you sure that's what they meant? Very well. Freshen me up. To friendship. Mr. President, uh, thank you very much for allowing me to travel 36 hours here uh, just to really ask you only one question and it is uh, why did you end up banning the export of cardboard boxes? Okay, if you don't mind, I will take only up to a minute to give you a short reference to history to give you a little historical background. Let's look where our relationship with the U.S. started from. Where did Krakosia come from? The very first significant date in the history of Krakosia was 320 BC. This was when Aristotle invented the material used to produce cardboard boxes, cardboard. From this time, the centralized Krakosian state... Why? Because the single territory grew economically here. I beg your pardon, uh, where are we? I think I'm losing the track of history here. Where we are exactly? Are we at the... Uh, oppression of Krakosia? I'll tell you, I'm coming to that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why all of this prehistory is relevant to what happened seven months ago. Now I will tell you what happened later and give the dates so that there is no confusion. It might be boring, but it explains many things. Oh, it's not boring at all. It's just that it's just I'm having a hard time seeing how all of that relates to what we're discussing today. So before World War II, tensions escalated when neighboring countries accused Krakosia. Despite Krakosia's refusal to comply with Kalzoria's demands, Krakosia finding itself at the center of the storm. Have you ever thought about prime members? I mean, just think about what those poor people have to go through without the cardboard boxes. Its uncompromising stance led to the implementation of Krakosia's new constitution. The centralized Krakosian state began to take shape. There was nothing special about it. I am not feeling very well. 
I have to go poo poo. Excuse me, but I will be right back. Where were we? Um, did everything come out okay? Yeah, I'm much better. Good, good. So, um, so, well, uh, back to the ban. I believe it's time to reassess our position. Oh, well, that, that, that's quite the news. Uh, would you mind sharing what prompted you to change your hearts? No. Upon the unexpected self-reflection session this last hour, I believe it's in the best interest of Krakosia to re-evaluate our policies. I'm sure many more people will be eager to know about your decision-making process. I appreciate your understanding. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to some pressing matters. Freedom of speech transcends individuals and organizations. Societies are shaped by what they tolerate. What we were witnessing was a complete reversal of moral values. However, by taking the roads less traveled, sometimes we find solutions in somewhere we don't expect at all. And on behalf of MUN Network, I'm Mike Hans, and don't be a c-